What is up everybody? Chef Nino Lagarta here. I hope everybody's staying as solid as ever because today we're going to be making cream cheese Shanghai spring rolls using Philadelphia cream cheese. So basically, we're making Lumpiang Shanghai with Philadelphia cream cheese. So it's going to be more, uh, a little bit more richer and uh, flavorful, more flavorful. So we're going to start with 500 grams of ground pork. So if you want, uh, you can use ground chicken also or ground beef or even ground fish if you want. So start with that. And I'm going to toss in all our other ingredients which uh, basically are going to be acting as extenders. But for me, it's not really extenders. It's more of a... Uh, it adds a lot of flavor as well and a lot of texture. Okay, I'm gonna start with our sing kamas. Gonna add in some uh, finely chopped carrots as well. Okay, so the sing kamas and the carrots is maybe around 100 grams each. We have here around 50 grams of uh, chopped celery, finely chopped celery, and of course we're gonna add a little bit of uh, onions as well. Maybe uh, one small onion. I'm gonna add also some chopped kinchai or chopped Chinese parsley. Now we're ready to add our Philadelphia cream cheese. Okay, so this one's gonna add a lot of uh, richness and uh, yeah, creaminess to our otherwise ordinary Lumpiang Shanghai. Okay, stand up. So with this, I'm probably just going to add half a bar or around 125 grams of our Philadelphia cream cheese. And we're going to season it with a little bit of salt and pepper. A little bit of salt. And finally, we're going to add some pickle relish. Right? So again, this one is going to add a lot of uh, sweetness and tanginess to our Lumpiang Shanghai. So that's it. Mix everything together. So I'm going to start with our uh, Philadelphia cream cheese. So it's better if you use Room temperature Philadelphia cream cheese. So it's easier to mix it in with uh, other fillings. And then finally, we're gonna add one whole egg to help bind everything together. So now, we're gonna start wrapping our spring rolls. We have our filling ready. And we have here our Shanghai wrappers. Grab a spoonful of your filling and place it at the edge of your Shanghai wrappers. Brush the edge with egg wash and continue your rolling until you close up your Shanghai wrappers. So now, we're ready to fry our spring rolls. Dump them in and fry them until they're golden brown. Okay, let's try it. Okay. Dip it in your uh, sweet chili sauce. Of course, I'm gonna tell you it's good. <laughs> yeah, it's really good. Hope you try it. Enjoy. And here we have our cream cheese Shanghai spring rolls made with Philadelphia cream cheese. As always, try the recipe, give it your spin, and as in the beginning, stay solid.